and welcome into part eight of our two-week summer series chronicling the newest Siena men's women's basketball freshman called Fresh Faces. Today is the series finale as we're joined by a pair of men's basketball freshmen. We have Lionel Gomez, a 6'8 forward out of Blairstown, New Jersey and Blair Academy, and Emo Silas, a 6'8 forward out of the Holderness School in Plymouth, New Hampshire. And guys, welcome to Siena. It's great to have you guys here, and uh, Lionel, we'll start with you first. Uh, you played at the Blair Academy and came over from Senegal, so you're not really from New Jersey, but from Senegal, and I know you got started with basketball late with the Seeds Academy. Tell us a little bit about growing up in Senegal, coming over here, and how you got involved in basketball. Uh, I was at home I went in Senegal. It was, it was just different because I was really interested in basketball until my late 12th. I was 13, something like that. In 2005, one of my uh, uh, cousins was a basketball player, and he's the one who introduced me to basketball. So when I was, when I started playing a little bit, playing around all that, that same year I lost my mom. So in 2005, I decided to you know be more focused on basketball, as to use it as a hook to I get good education, a free education. So I did so, and then several three, two, three years after. After that, I get see see the the seat coach, see the guy at the school I went in Senegal. They recruited me, and then they gave me an opportunity to go there for free for two years, and then from there I, I came to the state. And Emo, you're from Nigeria. You went to the Holderness School in New Hampshire. Tell us a little bit about your background in basketball. Mine was kind of similar to Linus, but I normally I, usually I would play soccer. I played a lot of soccer and. I always wanted to be a goalie because I was not really that tall at this time. So when it started growing and I just picked up the game and just liked it. And from there, I just had, had to join an academy. And from there, I had somebody that actually helped me come, come over to the States. Now, both of you guys signed with Siena in November. Tell us a little bit about how you got interested in Siena and what ultimately made you choose Siena College. Siena College, I got to, I heard a lot about Siena College from Adam Chaskin, so he actually made me think about it because I wasn't thinking of Siena at first, so I, he told me about it and I actually did my own research and looked up, and I noticed the school is well known for its winning tradition, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good idea, so I took a visit and I liked it a lot, I love the coach, like the players, and I felt, oh, I'm going to be comfortable here, so why look somewhere else, and so I chose Siena. How about for you, Lionel? Why for, Siena? For me, I mean, I, I like Coach B a lot. The way he recruited me, like he gave me the the chance to go take all the visits with other schools that were recruiting me, and he didn't put pressure on me and nothing. But he would call and just you know ask me what I think about those other schools. Um, I, I visited and, and so on, and so he didn't put pressure on me. And when I came to my visit, I really liked the players, and I just felt like I, I could fit. And I, I saw some of the you know games they played and the previous uh, season and all that. So I saw that I could really fit in that program. So. Now, Emo, I heard while you were at the Holderness School, not only did you play basketball quite a bit, but also the drums. Tell us a little bit about your expertise <laughs> with uh, music. Uh, I'm not. I'm not actually an expert, but. I'm an okay drummer. I play a lot of drums, and I played back home a lot in church. And I came, over, I came to Holdens, and I had the have to because one night I just went to the um, the music room and I just played, and the music teacher just came and was like, "Who are you?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm a new student." It's like, "You have to be in the band." I'm like, "Okay, I will," but I just have to like practice, keep practicing. It's like no problem. I can come up and practice. So I see, I picked it up from then. I, I liked it. Drum is like one of my favorite eating hobbies I don't tell you a lot. <laughs> You're watching part eight of our two week summer series called Fresh Faces as we introduce you to the new freshmen on the Siena men's women's basketball teams. Today is our final installment, but make sure to check out SiennaSaints.com as well as our official Facebook and YouTube pages for past Fresh Faces videos on each of Siena's men's and women's basketball's newest freshmen. Our guests today are men's basketball freshmen Lionel Gomez and Emo Silas. And you guys are both very similar. We'll start with you, Lionel. You're 6'8", big muscular body, you're tall, you're athletic. Tell us a little bit about your game. Uh, I think uh, my game right now is not where it needs to be right now, but I'm keep working on it. And 
I know defensively I'm, I'm a good rebounder and I can defend, I can have, you know, the team defending in the defensive end and, and offensively I, my, my game is coming along out there so I think now I'm becoming more like a of a face of play, you know, boss up, you know, kick back out, screen and do all those kind of stuff. So I'm pretty much everywhere. And how about for your email? Oh, uh, it's similar to Linus, uh, but I always like I take pride a lot of pride in playing defense and rebound a lot too, but my offense is coming along. I feel I feel like the more I work on it, I think it's gonna come better. Now, uh, Lionel Anderson, you speak five languages, is that true? Yeah. Which languages do you speak? Uh, uh, I speak English, French, and Wallop, which is what we speak in Senegal too, besides French. And I learned German before at the academy, like for two years, the, the two previous years before I went to the academy, I, I took German too. And I speak Creole, which is like a mix of Spanish and Portuguese that my grandparents speak. So. So when you're upset at the ref, what language to yell at them at? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Probably go with all of our friends, something I understand. <laughs> <laughs> now both of you guys got a chance to play with your teammates for the first time recently, the, your fellow freshmen, the returnees, and some former players. What was that experience like? It was a great one. Like uh, we, had, we just came up from the team program and played. It was really fun. Like I really enjoyed playing with all of the guys. And, I know, I love the freshman class too. Like I feel I feel like it could bring a lot of to the table and see on the team and which is gonna be great for the team team, see on the team as a whole. How about for you, Lionel? Uh, I think the same thing too. I think us with the team we have right now, the six coming freshmen, I think we're gonna be, you know, better next year and hopefully we keep working for the uh, next year we have uh, like us three uh, the six freshmen, you know, and get better and, you know, get Sienna where it needs to be. Uh, finally, uh, you guys have had a chance to come to Siena now. I know you've had a chance to see the Times Union Center. You know about all the fans and the excitement of the games. What are you most looking forward to about that first game in November, playing in front of the fans at the Times Union Center? Oh, what I'm looking for is a win. The first win, that's <laughs> all I'm excited about. I don't really like pay attention to the fans, even so I know they did and they support us. But the most important part is that when you get the win, you know, you get more fans. So. I'm excited about that, just the first win, and then we move on from there. How about for you, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, the first game, I think, I'm actually looking for a win too, but the excitement, the atmosphere is all I'm looking at, because it's different from where I came from. Holdings where I no fans, nothing, we're just playing a regular game, but not coming to like a much bigger school, you have like so much fan. I mean, I'm just looking forward to it and see, see how it, what it looks like. Well, gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to chronicling your careers over the next four years. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, that was Siena men's basketball's newest freshman, Lionel Gomez and Emo Silas here in our final two-week installment of Fresh Faces. And again, make sure to check back later throughout the summer and coming up in the fall as basketball season approaches for more features on both the Siena men's and women's basketball programs.